Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Time with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in, when you find value at any time in this video, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and tell me how you're feeling in the comment section. Let's dig in. So what's happening um, with the crypto and the uh, markets? Uh, let's just first focus on the macro and uh, macro events. The main one being uh, Russia invading Ukraine. Sanctions has escalated against uh, Russia from the West. Uh, they are now kicked off of SWIFT. Uh, their central bank, uh, central bank is being sanctioned, and uh, they, um, the West is imposing more sanctions against their oligarchs. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, they um, Russia and uh, Ukraine leaders met near the border. Uh, I believe uh, Belarus and Ukraine, and uh, they met. Um, not much came out of it. They have agreed to meet again uh, for the second time in the near future. So, not much else. However, what I find interesting in is how the market reacted. Let's take a look. Uh, this is a trading view, thirty minute time frame. We have. Uh, U.S. markets on the uh, far left here. We have European markets in the middle, along with stocks, STOXX, 600. And on the far right, we have Australia and the Asian markets. On top, across all three columns, we have Bitcoin. And why do I have Bitcoin on top? It's because I wanted to correlate all three of them together, mainly to tie these lines together here. And this is about seven days worth of data. We have a large gap here. That's because the week, uh, the weekend that just passed. So let's dive in and take a look. Start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin, as you can see over the weekend, went pretty much choppy, choppy, went down, and then started going up. And then when the U at the time the U.S. market opened, it just spiked, and all the way up to roughly um, now it's resting at forty one. 6k so it spiked all the way up here so that's curious don't you think given that uh, it's war Bitcoin is a risk on asset um, so let's take a look at other markets and see what's going on first we uh, we notice that this one right here by the way the US market is closed today and I normally do this in the morning but I really wanted to find out how the market will react throughout the day and then do this video. So the mar U.S. market is closed. You can see uh, NASDAQ. It opened here and it closed here, but it went choppy most of the day. It's really choppy. Um, though it ended up higher than where it, uh, where it opened, it's still choppy. The S&P 500, similar, almost identical. The Dow. It opened down, uh, lower than where it started um, on the previous closed, and then it went choppy. Same thing. It looked very similar. And um, on the so that the negative the positive correlation with Nasdaq and the um, S and P 500 for Bitcoin did not hold. They went chop chop, like really low chop chop. Bitcoin went boom. That's interesting. <laughs> So additionally, for the U, uh, U.S. dollar index, you can see here um, towards the uh, end of the weekend, it started diving right here. And then when the market opened, it continued to dive. That negative correlation with Bitcoin is holding. However, the dollar dove way before Bitcoin started rising, this pump right here. Well, actually, not to take, take that back. When the dollar started diving, Bitcoin started going up slightly, but not this giant pump. That giant pump, the normal correlation is that they move kind of similarly. But this pump right here is significantly more than how the dollar is diving. So negative correlation still holds, but the ratio of the moves are different. Bitcoin moved a lot more. 
the U.S. Treasury's 10-year uh, right here, it dove just before market opening and continued to dive. Let's take a look at the uh, European market. Here's the uh, UK 100 index, pretty much choppy, um, you know, choppy since they've been opened. Uh, over here in the uh, DAX, DAX, from, the, uh, from Germany, it's open, but then went slightly up, you know, not, not much to write home about. It's a slight move up, so a little bit of recovery there. A little bit of recovery over the CAC uh, index from France, and we got a bit more recovery. Well, this the proportion is different here, so pretty much similar. Um, stocks, CO, uh, STOXX 600, it had a bit of recovery here. So somewhat a bit of recovery in the European markets. Um, over here in Asia, um, they're still closed right now, but uh, in their last period, similar to the U.S. period, you can see that it's kind of choppy. Uh, a little bit of recovery, but more choppiness. Um, this is uh, Australia right here, and over at the uh, with the Nikkei, uh, you got a bit of recovery here, and, but still choppy. Over here, KOSPI, South Korean index, a uh, bit of recovery, less choppiness. Over at the Hang Seng S, uh, HSI in Hong Kong, uh, open down, um, but this is previously, not today, because they're closed right now. But they, they had a bit of recovery here. So it's muted. The recovery is muted in Asia and Australia. It's, it's small, but it's there amid all this craziness with um, Russia invading Ukraine and sanction and all that. So what can we tell from this chart? Why did Bitcoin move here? So a couple of things. First one is um, I completely believe this is uh, the, the strong move up here from roughly around 38k to almost 42k here uh, that's related to the US stock market and they're going risk on and i don't know why they're going risk on but it, it could be a couple of reasons the first one is bitcoin is um, we have uh, on chain data shows that there are more new open um the Bitcoin addresses that have a balance uh, that have a positive balance balance greater than zero, it's hit an all time high. So, but it so that's that's key because it was flat for a little bit and then it it went up. So there are more addresses. That doesn't mean that it's more people. It could mean that, but it just means that there's more. Uh, there are more Bitcoin addresses that have balances, positive balances. That's not by itself though. That's an interesting fact. The additionally, uh, a lot of people in Russia are shifting to from uh, shifting from only ruble tra tra transferring, uh, converting rubles to uh, stable coins or Bitcoin. They're they're doing that because the rubles drop in value. They, I think it dropped almost to about forty. Uh, no, sorry, thirty um, thirty percent drop. I have seen some ridiculous numbers, but the ones that I could verify and looked at was between 22 and 30 before uh, the Russian government increased the uh, the rate, the interest rate from 9.5 to 20, and that stabilized the ruble a little bit. And I think it dropped back down to around 12% decline. Uh, so, yeah, there's something here. I think I, I, we need to wait and see what's going to happen. But this move up is very bullish. Uh, so Russians and probably Ukrainians are converting over to using Bitcoin. Um, but the the timing here, we know that that can happen, and it is it's, it is happening. But the timing here is correlated with the opening of the U.S. stock stock market. And we'll take a look at this chart. Let me see here. That's not the chart. Let me open the chart. I'll show you this chart. So let's take a look at this chart. 
this is the heat map for the U.S. stock market. Um, it, it's mostly red. There's some dark greens and some light greens. But let's take a look at the light green areas. Um, you have square here, increase uh, of 6.4% on the day. Um, we have FTNT 6%, PNW at 4.3%. Um, we have AMD at 1.8%, Nvidia at 4. Point, uh, um, excuse me, 0.94%. Tesla, 7.48%. So we've seen these like Uber, 3%, Shopify, 2.56%. Um, you got coin at 7.8%. So what are these green, really bright green um, companies here? Uh, what do they have in common? They're high tech companies. What is Bitcoin? High tech. So they pumped, Bitcoin pumped, right? So these are, um, yeah, they're, they're tech stocks. So what's interesting is the tech stocks are pumping along with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin tend to correlate with these, these stocks. If you take a look at the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, um, yeah, there's a positive correlation with Bitcoin. But if you look deep down into it, it's the tech stocks that Bitcoin have correlations to. So that's, in, that's interesting. So here you can see uh, financials is red. Um, Credit, ser credit services, all these are red. Uh, we got uh, BRKB here, it's slight positive. Um, over here in the energy sector, we have more bright greens here. That's to be expected given that um, that sector's, you know, the co price prices are rising due to uh, Russia being one of the suppliers for energy. But yeah, the point here is that uh, aerospace, aeros aerospace stocks are like bright green here. So the point here is that these bright green spots are high tech companies, and Bitcoin is positively correlated to high tech companies. So that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool. Additionally, let's take a look at the crypto market. Crypto market is bright green. I mean, Bitcoin, 11%. Ethereum, 8.45%. Bitcoin's dominance shot up to 42.7%. It was at 41 something yes, uh, the other day. So very bullish for, uh, for the crypto market and very bullish for the, um, the tech sector. So in summary... What, what I feel is happening is, is, is this, is, uh, let me see, hang on a second here. What I feel is happening is that investors are going risk on with high tech, comp, uh, high tech stocks and also with, um, with Bitcoin and, um, and crypto. So at a time where we have, you know, like, um, Russia saying they, you know, to get their nuclear, uh, uh, their nuclear teams like on alert, uh, and we have increasing tensions and um, increasing sanctions. What's interesting is that the the high tech stocks and the uh, and the crypto markets are doing really well. So that's something to keep in mind. Could that change? Absolutely, but. Yeah, we want to keep an eye on this this whole week and see what happens and see how the um, escalation um, works out in the, uh, the invasion of Ukraine. We'll, we'll see. I appreciate your time. Uh, if you found value here, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the what's impacting the crypto market. Appreciate it. Take care. Peace. See you in the next video today.